Tehachapi has been growing and maturing for many years and in the last 10 or 20 we've really started to mature into something that is quite amazing. We're still retaining our our quality of life and our, our small town atmosphere but when you think about uh, quality of life of course health care comes into play right you don't always think about health care but when you need a doctor or a hospital or an ambulance you need it usually right now uh, our hospital was built in 1952, after, right after the earthquake. It's a small downtown hospital, and it really just cannot serve the population that we have today. My father had an illness, and he was uh, transferred down to San Joaquin. Amazing high-level care. But had we had the Tehachapi Hospital doors open, he could have been admitted and cared for in Tehachapi. That's what the community of Tehachapi wants. They want to stay in Tehachapi. Their family's there. It's not an easy drive yet. It's not that far, but if you drive the 58 a lot with the trucks, it, it's, it's not an easy commute. And if you've got somebody in the hospital down the hill, it, it's very, very stressful. So it's time to step it up. The hospital district took a leap of faith. I think at that point they knew they probably didn't have enough money, but they knew they had to start the project. And then Adventus came along, and I think it was God's will to just bring us together and, and really do good things in our community. The mission of Adventist Health is to bring whole person healing to as many communities as possible. So being able to go into the Tehachapi community enhances our ability to expand our mission to a broader base. Adventist Health has a tradition of over a century bringing whole person care. We consider ourselves pioneers in the movement to treat the entire mind, body, and spirit. Adventist Health, the mission, the vision, the values, is such an alignment with the people at Tatchby Hospital that I knew in an, in an instant that the fit was gonna be great because the cultures match. We've had this part of us and there's been almost a fear to express it. Will I get in trouble, you know, if I, if I wanna pray with a patient? Um, so it's kind of been like in the shadows and now it's like, wow. We're encouraged to do this. We're encouraged to support each other spiritually, and that's who we are. The new facility will be state of the art, both from a building standpoint and from a clinical care and the equipment that is there. We will be able to expand services that are not currently offered in the old facility. Staff are very excited when they walk through and see that new facility to have the space that they need to do the work that they have to do. Several of them cried. And to see the look on their faces, staff that have been there even longer than I have, and their jaw drop open, and tears in their eyes, and the sparkle, and because we have dreamed of this for so long. The first thing when you walk through the door, there is a chapel. That's something that we wanted, we fought for. As a government entity, we heard over and over, well, you can't have that. And so now, as a faith-based organization, there's a chapel. And then you walk down and you have an ICU. It reminds me of the ICUs on TV. <laughs> I never thought I would say that, but reminds me of the ICU. It's got those glass doors and the curtains, and I'm like, wow. This is, this is pretty nice. And again, the nurses are, are right there. They can sit right outside the room. And that's so important for patient care to be able to just be with your patients as a nurse. And the med surgery room, all private rooms, no more four beds to a room. The cafeteria and the healing garden, wow. I can't wait. I mean, I can't wait. I don't I can't even tell you what the future holds because I know what the staff is doing now with the the building and the resources that we have. 
and I think the potential is unlimited. It, I'm just, I get goosebumps. I'm so excited about it. The bonds that have been floated by the community in support of the construction of this hospital are ending up to be approximately two-thirds of the total cost for the facility. It is obvious that the community is, wants that level of health care and a facility that they can be proud of. And we're just so happy that, that we can all work together to make this dream become a reality. Hope in the city of Tatchby now, as soon as the doors open, will be firmly in the middle of the city, right where we need it to be, and people, if they have a need, can go to the facility and be taken care of. Together, we're inspiring health. We're inspiring wholeness. Together, we're inspiring hope.